I was chopped up by the National Bank um, after 28 years in what is just pure equitable fraud. Um, so I wouldn't touch a major bank with a barge pole. I actually think it's a wealth hazard. Nathan Amshaw Rothschild said, give me control of a nation's money supply, and I cannot, he makes its laws. So the age of enlightenment was when the secular intelligentsia took control from the Roman church, and they've been in charge ever since. So when you look at the Bank of International Settlements, operated out of Baal, Switzerland, telling regional Australia what to do with their banks, you realise it's a con game. But the true con game lies in investment banking. Forget the word banking. The word banking stems from the word banquet, bench. It's where the money lenders sat many years ago, centuries ago. Who were the money lenders? The elitist wealth. So imagine that the capital management industry is now growing exponentially because the country is compelled to send 9% of their savings off to industry super funds. But what's unusual is those industry super funds are usually domiciled in Sydney and Melbourne. So Sydney and Melbourne never had a GFC. They skated right through that because why? Well, they've got all of the capital is centred there. So when they withdraw uh, from regional Australia, they focus on their own city. So regional Australia has now woken up to the con game. It's woken up to the embarrassing um, bipartisan politics and you're going to see dynamic change. You've got dynamic change globally. I mean, like him or hate him, Donald Trump's in power. And Donald Trump said he was going to drain the swamp. The inequity between the elitist wealth in America and the rest of, of that nation is going to cause civil unrest in due course. It's just a global con game. It's been running around for a couple hundred years. It'll get unpacked progressively over the next decade and people will increasingly move away from the banking system and they'll create their own. Um, future banks are software companies. Mm -hmm. So if you're a software company today and you haven't got a capital structure and a plan to be a bank, you should because you will make a lot of money.